Hey everyone, Weston Summers again, and in the last video we just disassembled our Charles Daly Field Hunter in 12 gauge, and in this video we're going to put her back together. So, we still have all our uh, appropriate parts laid out. I suggest watching the other video first if, you, if you're going to attempt this, but when you have everything in order it makes things very nice. So first off, to start with our gun, we're going to put our magazine tube back together, follow with our recoil, our carrier assembly, and then we'll install the barrel. So let's get started. We will need our uh, lower here, our bottom of the gun. You'll need your tube spring for your magazine. You want to insert it. Follow this with your plug. Plug into the tip. We're going to be looking for this indention on top of the weapon right here, which will mate up to this backwards C. Put this cap on here. You slide her on there. Move straight down. Push straight in. Rotate about 10 degrees and let her go. You want to check it by pushing on it a couple times and make sure it catches. Now everything's kosher. Next, we're going to need our recoil spring. Then, we can set this down. We will need our carrier assembly pieces and our catch, our cocking handle, whatever you want to call it. This cocking handle is going to be inserted straight through here with the loop facing forward, but when it's inserted through here, it needs to be in line with this piece right here as this will be laid over it, and when you slide them together, it will pin everything into position. We're just going to do this while it's on the weapon. So, you want to lay your carrier assembly parts together like this. This piece to go on this one needs to be rotated up, put in position, and locked in. This holds it in place. Making sure your gun is in the upright position. Slide this over the tip like so, and come back to the chamber. Now, when you get here, there's going to be some tension because of the recoil spring, and you'll need to move it and shake it. Now, when you move and shake this, you'll see how this will line up. You can put it right here in the middle, taking your handle, push her straight in. You're going to have to wiggle it. I'll, I even have to wiggle it to get it right sometimes. So, wiggle it a couple. Make sure it goes in. Once it goes all the way in, you can tell it's in because the tip will catch just on front of the weapon. Next piece you'll need will be your buffer. This is your buffer. Doesn't matter which direction. Buffer. Followed by this one with the metal ring facing forward. Next, take your small O-ring. Lay your O-ring over here. Don't stretch your O-ring. And roll it into position. This keeps everything from falling off the front of the gun. Now to put our barrel in, we're going to make sure this is pushed back in. Barrel is very easy to do. You want both this one to mate up first. Set the tip just inside jiggle it, wait for this to go right in line. Pull back on your assembly, get her into position. Once you get her right here, keep pressing, get it all the way down. You'll see that there's still a space. You can either do it by hand and push it, or you can lock back your carrier symbol all the way and give the gun one bump on the ground. That's what I prefer. It's now in position. This is what everything should look like after you have it assembled. Next, you will follow this with your hand guard. Make sure it slides into position and your two ears catch. And lastly, now that we check this was spring loaded for the teeth, we'll put on our cap, rotating it clockwise, righty tighty. So now we can check our weapon and our weapons reassembled. And that is the assembly of the Charles Daly Field Shotgun. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I look forward to all of your questions and comments and concerns. Y'all have a great day.